So Don't Follow, this is a great tune, Alice in Chains tune, uh, but they play it in D flat. So that is not typically a, a, a guitar player's uh, key. And I think it sounds to me like what they're doing is detuning by a half a step so that they can play the D flat in the D position. So um, that's, that's what I hear anyway. But if, because if you go ahead and play it in the D position, it's a lot simpler, right? And the changes themselves aren't that difficult. Right, so what we're talking about is, uh, let's say, let's say in D, so everything is in D now because it's a half a step up from, from how they play it. So, so there's your one. This is pretty, pretty much diatonic. B, E, F sharp, G, A, B, uh, C sharp, and D. So, so uh, the first part, the D, right? And then we put an F sharp at the bottom of it. So D, E, F sharp is just a three, but it's below, the three below. And now to the G, uh, D, E, F sharp, and G, that's a four. And then A, so you have... C sharp, D, D, C sharp, that's a seven, right? Uh, B is a six, and A is a five. So basically, one, three, four, five. And once you understand stuff as a number, if, you know, things get a lot simpler because you start, once you, really, this is a, in my mind, <laughs> there's a secret to playing guitar. It's understanding the numbers of the notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one again, right? And the relationships, especially of the major scale. So tonic, uh, to the t uh, second degree is a whole step, to the third degree is a whole step, to the fourth degree is a half step, to the fifth degree is another whole step, to the sixth degree is another whole step, to the seventh degree is a whole step, and then from the seventh to the uh, eighth, or back to the um, to the uh, octave, is a half step. So in D, that, pr that pretty little tune uh, sound can we play something like this, hold the D, and just play four, three, two, one. And we got to change fingers. So we're change fingers one and two, and put finger one on the second fret. That's your F sharp. S uh, second finger now goes on the second fret of the uh, G string. That's where the first finger was before. So you have this. Now we're going to leave uh, the 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 A in position, right? But we've got to go swap back to the first finger again, so that I can get my G down here with my second finger. What I'm going to do here is I've got actually uh, a, uh, an A, right? But I'm going to play it with uh, with the D on top of it. So resolving back to the D again. And starting from the third, so this is, I, uh, I don't, this is the Phrygian mode of the D, so. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, sorry, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. Uh, again, knowing your numbers uh, for something like, uh, for any tune really, especially diatonic tunes, uh, makes things a lot, makes more sense, you know, it starts to cement things together for you a little better. So I uh, hope that's helpful. Please enjoy, and I will talk to you soon.